so in this video we are going to do income statement and a balance sheet at the same time so the main purpose of this video guys is to show you how to transfer amount from trial balance to income statement as well as in the balance sheet so please make sure that you stay tuned until the end so that you will get gain more principle and more basic that you need to know about income statement and the balance sheet okay so abc company trial balance is 31 december 2021 have the following amount okay number one they give us a cash of 10,000 account receivable until utilities okay we have a draft of balance sheet that we are going to use which means that every amount we need to transfer the one that form part of balance sheet we're gonna put it in the balance sheet the one that form part of income statement we're gonna just put them here okay then we have a cash cash is a bank okay under balance sheet we're going to record this ten thousand under a balance sheet then account receivable of five thousand is also part of assets under a balance sheet we're gonna record here then after that we also have inventory of eight thousand eight thousand okay now we have a bank loan bank loan is not an asset it's liability because we owe a bank which means that we have to record it under liability part okay this one is a long-term uh, loan liability uh, amount will be seven thousand seven thousand okay then we have an account payable of four thousand account payable is li liability as well guys four thousand we record it under a liability please make sure that you don't write this amount under income statement because we call it a foreign mark which you are uh, you're going to be penalized for that okay so the other one we have uh owners equity of twelve thousand okay uh owners equity we have twelve thousand and the other one is sales sales is form part of income statement which means that we have to come this side and record our sales amount of fifty thousand and the cost of sales is twenty thousand minus twenty thousand we have to subtract it so that we can get a gross profit of thirty thousand okay then now let's check if we have any expenses salaries and wages yes it's an expense amounted to ten thousand and we also have rent expense of five thousand okay total of this expense must be in a bracket okay utilities is also expense uh, which is three thousand so in total this total expense will give us eighteen thousand 18,000. So our profit for the year is gross profit because we don't have any other income. 30,000 minus 18 is going to give us 12,000. If we have any other transaction, guys, this 12,000 of profit for the year must be the same with amount of owner's equity of 12,000. Okay, so if you calculate total liabilities, this side is going to give you 4,000 plus gonna give you 11,000 okay our equity will be 12,000 so which means that in total 12,000 plus 11 is gonna give us total equity and liability of 23 23,000 you add total of liability and equity, it's going to give you 23. Now let's check total assets. It's 10,000 plus 8,000. It's 18,000 plus 5,000. This gives us total assets of 23,000. In other words, total assets must be the same with total equity and liability because the principle said assets equals to owner's equity plus liability so i hope you have learned something from this basics guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and like this video i'm gonna see you on the other basic of accounting that we are going to release see you